it's, it's an a, extremely valuable um, experience for the students to be able to um, spend time with an artist such as Folkert because he has been through the processes that they're just beginning to embark upon. Um, and, and getting the input from someone who has taken um, their art so far and has, has really built a very strong body of art through process is able to um, kind of see clearly what the beginning concepts are for these students and um, is able to relate to them in a way and give them ideas um, to further their projects and to push them in directions where they probably wouldn't um, think to go otherwise. And it's, it's very valuable for them to get these experiences from, from the outside of the school because they work with us, they work with me on, on ideas often and with other professors in the school, but it's really a breath of fresh air for them to be able to have someone come from as far away as Holland a professional artist and be able to hear that perspective. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I found it really, uh, I really, the time are, is really short that I'm here and that I have with individual students, but uh, for me, as somebody just passing by, you know, just coming, in, dropping in into the in the middle of a process, it can be very interesting. I think for uh, the students to have a sort of a short reflection from me on their work and my ideas uh, about it, and uh, it will be different. I think if you would be following these processes more during a semester or uh, it's a it's a di but it, I think it's very great that you are uh, inviting art artists here to to have a very short and intense moment uh, reflecting on the work I think it gi it gives you a bit of a, a a touch of reality in a way with uh, yeah how people perceive what you're doing you know as an artist uh, in the circumstances of uh, being in an art college and I think that's super cool that, uh, that you, uh, that you uh, create these kind of uh, opportunities. And a lot of our students, at least in the Art X department, are working in this interdisciplinary mode where the idea is to move rather seamlessly from something maybe a sculpture and then it may be part of a performance, which could become part of a video or a painting and the ability and the freedom to be able to move around these disciplines uh, is really something that Folkert is a fine example of, of uh, someone who does that um, very well. That, um, in a way, each art, artist here, or uh, in general, are struggling with uh, to master their materials or their media in order to transfer an idea, you know? Everybody is trying to get a grip on something in order to use that as a tool to transfer an idea. And I think that's, uh, that's interesting, that it, it, the, the intensity of that can be really confusing for some students, I think. Uh, they're really struggling with how, how they can uh, put their idea into an artwork and then also to communicate something to an audience that is like a, it's a big deal, you know? And I think also I am struggling with this and it is a, it's a never ending struggle between you, your medium and the public, you know? How you can all bring it together. It takes a lot more than just to make something, you know? It's a whole, uh, psychological uh, investigation. It's already challenging that people put themselves in this situation. I think it's fantastic, you know. I think many people should go to art college to 
to, to, to investigate your, 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 your position here, you know, in the world. And, yeah. you know, there are so many students each year graduating and you think like, are they going to be all artists? But I think, of course not, you know, but I think as a, as a person or an individual in, in, in the development of your life, there is so much you can pick up here, no matter what you do with it, you know. I mean, uh, being an artist is more than making art. It, it, it's a way of managing your art also out there. And I think maybe it's not for everybody. But in the same time, it's a great value, I think, that you can give to your development as a human being to, uh, yeah, to take that with you into the whatever you're gonna do after that, you know? It makes you aware of, yeah, your, uh, your position in the world and how you're gonna, deal with the world around you, you know. I'm very interested in uh, uh, like uh, many different subjects and also very heavy complex uh, uh, thoughts about uh, the world, uh, human behavior, uh, science, religion, it's like big, big subjects, you know. And I think it's very difficult in a way to reduce this to to an artwork, and it, but so I try. What I try to do is to try to go back deep in myself, ask myself, like I'm also a product of my time, and how do I relate to all these different subjects, and how can I sort of reduce them and bring them back to to myself? And I think by by sort of uh, to try to relate them in my own experience to my own experiences, that is sort of the the palette or the sort of base that I start with if I start to create something, like, an, uh, like a character or a scene. So I start of research around me, I gather things and I, I sort of uh, mirror them with myself. I process them and then I try to sort of uh, build something new out of that, to translate all these kind of issues into a personal reflection or a comment on that and uh, yeah it, it took me some time in a way to find a efficient way in that you know to, to also to not to take too much in one time because I was in art school always looking for answers you know why and I, to, to, to come to conclusions like to come to a conclusion that you would say this, this is the, the perfect art piece but each work is in a way a small step further in my research, trying to understand uh, how far are we in our technical developments in the world and why do cycles uh, occur in, in history, why are things coming back, you know, why, are, why do we have such a problem with facing the, the sort of taboo subjects yeah. But I think it's an interesting way of in, indeed uh, having a conversation about art and going into deeper layers. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting for uh, students and I mean in general to follow these kind of open dialogues that go, can go anywhere, you know, and can reach sort of interesting subjects further away than we were expecting. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of dynamic, you know, and unexpected.